pretty exciting to be here tonight. You know, on the heels of a championship and a movie premiere with, uh, you know, arguably one of the greatest drivers, certainly of our generation, maybe of all time. Scott's the type of guy, the type of friend that you can call him at 3 in the morning, him or Emma, and they will deliver anything you need at any time you need. So that's why we have so many people here. I think uh, that's uh, our own way to show a respect to a friend and not because he's a five-time champion. For us, it's been a lot of talking about it for a long time, so it's actually really cool to be here tonight and hugely thankful for all the support and everybody's effort you know, going into this. It's, it was no easy feat, but um, you know, especially IndyCar, with all the access that they granted uh, Universal. When you watch the end credits, it's not just my name. There's Bryn, the director, and there's hundreds, literally hundreds of other people who all contributed to the making of this fine movie. So if the audience responds well, and I hope they do, I believe they will, then the moment I'm going to feel the best is, is when they clap at the end and I see that genuine and sincere engagement and enjoyment, well then that's an amazing privilege to have led the team that made that film. They're a professional group of people and for them, they respect professionals that we are and I think uh, it was seamless and, and I'm sure everybody on my team feels the same way. You know, other than a, hey, can we talk to you for five minutes every once in a while? <laughs> I didn't know they were there. I think it's really good. It's going to be huge for the sport, uh, huge, you know, for IndyCar. We're bigger than we've ever been in the past 15 years and I think this is just, it's more. It's creating awareness. It's creating not just awareness of Scott Dixon, but IndyCar and everybody else there is in this movie. I've never seen in any other series all your competitors promoting a movie about the guy that just won the championship and beat everybody else. And that just doesn't make sense, right? And we're all doing it because we know on the big picture, we're all benefiting from it. The casual fan, you know, maybe thinks that you just turn up with a car, it comes off the truck, and, and then you turn the key in and away you go. But, you know, the, the amount of effort that goes into it, you know, even a you know, two-car team like ours, it probably takes a total of 80 people maybe to, to run them. I think there's a lot of, across the platform, that, that a lot of people are going to really, uh, you know, really enjoy and, and cling to. Look, I don't want to give any spoiler alerts here, but, you know, there's a few nice moments in the film for sure. There's a few moments well worth uh, watching and probably will end up on YouTube one day. Yeah, I'm excited to see. I've only seen the first edit, so this is like edit number 10, I think. So I yeah. hope everybody really enjoys it. You know, it's been a long time coming. We, you know, we had the crew with us for so long and there was many days we were like, oh my gosh, why do they need to film breakfast number 210? <laughs> but again, you know, they had sole right to the edit, so it's their film as well. It very much is their story and I'm really excited for everyone to see it. Yeah.